the look for less is back y'all <laughs> Hey y'all, it is Haley. Welcome back to my channel. Today, the Look for Less challenge is back. It has been gone now since the summer. I think the last one I did was August. She took a break, Um, she moved and all that. That's Yami at Latina Next Door. She hosts this challenge every month now. She's starting back and I'm so excited. I love the Look for Less challenge. Um, her co-host this um, month for January is Natalie at Design to the Nines, which I love her too, y'all. She is great and she hosts a Power Tools challenge every month as well, which is super fun to participate in. But that is the host, that is the co-host. I want you to check out their channels, link below. They're amazing. They do great DIY things and great decor things you're gonna want to check them out and you're gonna want to be sure and check out the playlist link below because there's gonna be a ton of inspiration and a ton of stuff for cheap y'all the look for less challenge that's exactly what it is it's finding something that is real expensive and saying mm, nope I can make it for cheap <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today I wanted to do some stuff for my Valentine's decor y'all do you love my little um donut earrings so fun Aliexpress for like less than two dollars cheap <laughs> Anyway, I am making some stuff for Valentine's today, so stick around and let's do some crafting. Okay, y'all, if you don't know by now, I am obsessed with these candy hearts for my Valentine decor. Well, when I searched on Etsy to try to find some items to supplement for my decor to make this super cute, they're expensive. I wanted to do some little candy hearts sort of this shape, and they were $35 for just five of them. I got this pack of six for $6.99 at a local little craft store. I had all these paints on hand, so I am going to, well, I already cut out some little, you can't see them yet, stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna paint them, and then I'm gonna put some um, words on them to make them look like cute little conversation hearts for my decor. Um, so really all I paid was the $7 for the little um, hearts. I had everything else on hand. And then, as y'all know also, I've recently started collecting Ray Dunn, and I really wanted a bead garland for my new little display area. So so I went searching for that. Y'all, they're so expensive. And I found the cutest little conversation heart one, but I just couldn't pay that price. So I grabbed a big bag of these from Amazon. I think they were $9.99 uh, $9, uh, $9 maybe. I'll link anything that was from Amazon below. And so I grabbed these and this is plenty for me to do a um, one for Valentine's and then another one for either St. Patrick's or uh, Easter. So this was a really good deal. And then I had these, I, I'm sure you can get these maybe on Amazon or Etsy, but I had these on hand. So I didn't even have to pay for these. So I'm gonna use these for my little, I'm gonna paint these as well. And I'm gonna use these for my little conversation hearts on my bead garland. And then I had all the paint on hand, um, all my pretty kind of pastel fun colors um fun conversation heart colors these are for inspiration so i'm just gonna get started on these two little diys and i hope they turn out so cute <laughs> okay first things first is to get all of my hearts these hearts and my beads all painted and dried so that we can move on to the next step are drying nicely oh I just love these colors I think that's so cute um now I'm gonna start on my beads I just have this old pinwheel from I don't even know what this is from and I stuck some on here so that I can um easily paint them and hopefully they will dry nicely on this little peg um and then I will get started stringing them on some of this uh jute uh twine Oh, isn't that just a beautiful sight? <laughs> I got all of the little beads painted. The hearts are dry now too. I'm gonna take my little Cricut um, cutout words that I did and just put those right on. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use a stencil and paint over so it's all paint and red or just use the stickers. I'm not sure. And then I'm gonna string um, these little beads on and it's gonna be perfect for my Ray Dunn display. Okay, so I decided just to use the actual vinyl that I had cut out because this is kind of rough and I'm scared that the paint will slip under the stencil and won't look as nice. So I've just got this on some transfer paper. I'm gonna peel it right off. I'm going to find the perfect spot here. Rub this. Peel this off. And 
and then we have the cutest little conversation heart oh that is so fun these turned out so precious i love them i can't wait to start decorating with them so so cute so before I string the beads um, with the little hearts on it, I want to write some little messages on them. And this is just way too small to do with my Cricut, so I am just gonna have to freehand. I'm just gonna use this little, um, what is this, Stadler red marker, red pen, fine tip pen, and just write some little um, conversation starters or <laughs> conversation heart stuff. Um, where's my yellow? Um, messages right on here, um, just freehand it and it'll be fine, y'all. It's gonna be cute. I hope. <laughs> okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. Maybe nobody will look real close once I get it all done. <laughs> okay, I have got my twine. I just put a little piece of tape on the end and I'm just gonna get started. Hopefully these will go right on. And I don't really know how I want to do these color-wise, but I'll just play with it until I get it right. Okay, I have just made a little tassel here for the end. I thought I would try to kind of show you. I just looped about eight loops of the um, twine, jute, whatever you call it, around my finger. Now I'm trying to find the bottom of all of them. And then I'll just take my scissors and I'll just snip the bottom so then it's not um, looped anymore, then it's a tassel. I don't think you're seeing anything but my hands moving around and around. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I've got all the little ends. And then I just took one little piece of jute here. And I just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and double knotted that so that it is um, on there. And it has a little hole. Is this making any sense? And that's the little hole that I'm going to put this end piece through so that it sticks. So now I'll take these and tighten them and then I'll just snip to make the tassel. Cute, cute, cute. And then I'll take my other end over here and I will just feed it through these little holes at the top. Where are you? I see the end. There we go. So I just feed my end through here. And then we move this just a little bit. So this is the end. And I'll just pull it through here like that. And then I'll cut, ooh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put two on. Well, that's the idea to put the tassel on, but I had to put two more, <laughs> two more beads on here before I'm done. Hang on. Okay, now I've got those other beads on. So I've got this pulled through just like that. And then I'm gonna take this in. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but it seems like a good idea to me. I'm gonna take the end here and just thread it back up through this last little blue one. And so I've got it here. Just make sure that's nice and tight. And then I think I'll just wrap it around a few times and then make myself a little knot. And then it will be finished off with a cute little crazy tassel. <laughs> and that is how it turned out. Oh my goodness, I just love these colors. I love the way the little conversation hearts turned out. I think this is going to look so cute on my little Ray Dunn display. Okay, here is one last look at my super fun, look for less conversation heart Valentine decor. I loved that I saved money on this, y'all, but I love even more that I got to make it myself. And now I can pull it out every year and remember that I made this and it's gonna look so fun in my decor. I just love how it turned out. So that was my look for less challenge for today. I mean, y'all. I definitely saved money, like I said, but it's just so fun to do my own stuff and be crafty and just have that creative juices flowing and it just brings joy to me. So I just love to make these things and I love to share them with you and I love to be able to see them in my decor and know that I made it and I didn't just buy it. So that's my look for less challenge for this month. Thanks so much for following me along. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.